Hi and welcome in this video from the Getting Started with Processing Plus video series. In this video I will show you how to build your first flow sheet. The process we'll see will feed a separator with a water ethanol mixture in order to compute the temperature needed to vaporize one half of the mixture. In the previous videos we saw how to set the unit systems and how to select the chemical compounds, the thermodynamic model, and some VIPs associated with the thermodynamic model. Now we will build the flow sheet. The first thing to add to this flow sheet is the process feed. One click on the module I want to add and one click on the flow sheet to drop the module. I will now add two process outlets, one for the vapor outlet, the second one for the liquid outlet. The last thing to add is the major module for this process and it is the liquid vapor separator. One click and one click. Now I've added all the modules needed for this flow sheet. You can see that some of them are outlined in red, which means that they miss some connections. So now we have to connect these modules together. What we want to do is connect this process feed to the separator with a material stream. So we'll click on the material stream tool. You can see that my pointer has been changed. One click and one click at the end of the stream. To open a window, saying that on the side of the separator you can see several connections. All these connections have the same label, material input, so they are totally equivalent. So for graphical reasons I will select the first one here and click OK to create the stream. I will do exactly the same thing for the stream to the vapor outlet. So now the window shows that there is something here to select. On the separator side I have two different connections. The label is not the same liquid outlet or vapor outlet, so I have to select the right one. Here is the vapor outlet. And OK to create the stream. The last one from the separator to the liquid outlet. And as there was only one connection remaining on the separator, there is no more ambiguity and the stream was created automatically. So now all the modules are here. They are now connected and now I have to set the parameter of all these modules. We will begin by the easiest ones, the process outlets. I double click to open the process outlet window. Here I just have to set the name of this process outlet. For example, mixture vapor out and OK to save it. You can see the name has been changed. We'll do the same here. Mix liquid out and OK to save. Now I will set the process feed. Double click. Mixture in. And in this process feed, I have to set some parameters here. So here you have two tabs. The first one is for the flow rates and the fraction. So you have four ways to set the flow rate specifications. Of course, if you want to set the specifications with fractions, at the end you will have to set the total flow rate. But here I will set by partial molar flow rate and set one mole per second of ethanol and one mole per second of water. The second tab is for temperature and pressure. 
so I will supply the temperature 25 degrees Celsius is OK and the pressure to one atmosphere is OK too. So I can click OK to save the parameters of my process feed. The last thing I have to set in this flow sheet is the separator. I double click. In the parameters tab, in the operating condition part, I have first to select the flash type. So here I want to compute a temperature. I want to know the temperature that is necessary to reach to be able to vaporize half of my mixture. So I will use a constant pressure and vapor fraction flash. So then I have to set the pressure, which will be the lowest of the feed stream, one atmosphere. And I have to set the vapor friction which is by default to 0.5, which means that we will vaporize half the mixture. I can now click OK to save. So let's recap. We have put all the modules on the flow sheet. We have connected them. We have set the parameters for these modules. We can now launch the simulation. You can see here that all the modules are ticked in green and the bar here is all green so everything went fine. We can close the simulation progress window. At the bottom of the window you can see a table that will recap all the parameters for all the streams and you can right click in it to be able to add which quantity you want to see in this table. It allows you to compare very easily the values between some streams. If you put your pointer on the stream, you will see an info bubble appearing. Here we can see that we have a total flow rate of 2 moles per second, one of ethanol and one of water, and in the vapor outlet we have one mole per second of ethanol water mixture enriched in ethanol because it's in the vapor outlet and the ethanol is lighter than water. So it's totally logic. In the liquid outlet, we can see one mole per second of a mixture enriched in water, which is the heaviest one. So one mole vapor plus one more liquid, we have one half of the mixture that has been vaporized in the separator. So now the last result is the temperature to actually make this separation. To find it, we will open the simulation report of the separator. To do so, double click on the separator. We go to the report tab. And here we have all the calculation information about the separator and the temperature of the separator which is 80.5 degrees Celsius. So to vaporize one half of the mixture at one atmosphere we need to be at this particular temperature. This video is now over, thank you for watching and please don't forget to watch all the other videos available on the YouTube channel.